Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Now let's move on to the next theory. So we are going to evaluate alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed and alpha to the power of 4 plus beta to the power of 4 plus gamma to the power of 4. So now suppose you are given the equation of ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals to 0. This equation has got three roots which are alpha, beta, and gamma. So from the identity that we have just learned just now, we can write three new identities. Alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to minus B O A. Alpha times beta plus alpha times gamma plus beta times gamma equals to C over A. And alpha times beta times gamma equals to minus D over A. Also, we have learned just now that the identity of the summation of alpha squared, which is equals to alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared, can be equals to alpha plus beta plus gamma squared minus 2 times alpha times beta plus alpha times gamma plus beta times gamma. We are now in a position to find alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed and alpha to the power of 4 plus beta to the power of 4 plus gamma to the power of 4. Since ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals to zero, this equation has the root of alpha, beta, and gamma. Then we can substitute each root, alpha, beta, and gamma, into the x, and we write the equations. As the first one is a times alpha cubed plus b times alpha squared plus c times alpha plus d equals to 0, and this is the equation 1. Next, a times beta cubed plus b times beta squared plus c times beta plus d equals to 0, and this is the equation number 2. Now substituting gamma, we have a times gamma cubed plus b times gamma squared plus c times gamma plus d equals to 0. And this is the equation number three. Okay, now we'll add these three equations together. And this will result in this new equation. A times alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed plus B times alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared plus C times alpha plus beta plus gamma plus 3d equals to 0. And hence, we can deduce alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed. Let us now move on to try to deduce alpha to the power of 4 plus beta to the power of 4 plus gamma to the power of 4. So again, we will rewrite the three equations again. I mean, the first one is a times alpha to the power of 4 plus b times alpha to the power of cube plus c times alpha squared plus d times alpha equals to 0. And the second equation being a times beta to the power of 4 plus b times beta cube plus c times beta squared plus d times beta equals to 0. 
on the third equation is alpha times gamma to the power of 4 plus b times gamma cubed plus c times gamma squared plus d times gamma equals to 0. And again, we will add these three equations up. And so we can rewrite this equation as a times alpha to the power of 4 plus beta to the power of 4 plus gamma to the power of 4 plus b times alpha cubed plus beta cubed plus gamma cubed. plus c times alpha squared plus beta squared plus gamma squared plus d times alpha plus beta plus gamma equals to zero. And now we can deduce alpha to the power of four plus beta to the power of four plus gamma to the power of four from this equation. So I've shown the argument by multiplying first, second, and third of each equation that we form every single time by alpha to the power of n, beta to the power of n, and gamma to the power of n, respectively. And adding them together, we can obtain a general equation of a times s n plus 3 plus b times s n plus 2 plus c times s n plus 1 plus d times s n equals to 0 where s n equals to alpha to the power of n plus beta to the power of n plus gamma to the power of n let us understand deeper through the question perspective so we have this equation, x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals to 0. And we need to find s2, s3, s4, and s5. So how do we do that? First of all, we write s2 equals to summation of alpha squared minus 2 times the sum of alpha times beta. And we know that the sum of alpha equals to 2 and the sum of alpha times beta equals to minus 5. So we we'll get 14 for S2. Okay, we now know that this is a cubic equation and it has the roots of alpha, beta, and gamma. And we can rewrite the equation three times in terms of alpha, beta, and gamma by substituting the roots into the x. So alpha cubed minus 2 alpha squared minus 5 alpha plus 6 equals to 0 and the second equation being beta cubed minus 2 beta squared minus 5 beta plus 6 equals to 0 and we write again using gamma so gamma cubed minus 2 gamma squared minus 5 gamma plus 6 equals to 0 okay now we have the, these three equation so we multiply these equations with alpha to the power of n, beta to the power of n, and gamma to the power of n. And so we can rewrite the equation three times again. But this time it's alpha to the power of n plus 3 minus 2 times alpha to the power of n plus 2 minus 5 times alpha to the power of n plus 1 plus 6 times alpha to the power of n equals to 0. And the second equation is beta to the power of n plus 3 minus 2 times beta to the power of n plus 2 minus 5 times beta to the power of n plus 1 plus 6 times beta to the power of n equals to 0. And again with gamma. Alright, so we know that Sn equals to alpha to the power of n plus beta to the power of n plus gamma to the power of n. So adding these three equations up, we can rewrite these three equations generally in terms of S. So S n plus 3 minus 2 times S n plus 2 
minus 5 times s and plus 1 plus 6 times s0 equals to 0. Okay, with this we can solve any summation in any power. So for s3, we can rewrite equation first by letting n equals to 0 and we get s3 minus 2s2 minus 5s1 plus 6s0 equals to 0. So for s3, we need to rearrange the equation and substitute s2 which is 14, s1 which is 2, and s0 which is 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 3, and we will get s3 equals to 20. To solve for s4, again now we let n equals to 1, we will get this equation, s4 minus 2s3 minus 5s2 plus 6s1 equals to 0. Okay, now we will rearrange the equation so that we can get s4. And then we have got to substitute s3 which is 20, s2 which is 14, and s1 which is 2. And we will get 98 for s4. Alright, and now for s5 it should be easy. Again, we will rewrite the equation in terms of s5 by substituting n equals to 2. And we get this equation. Now, we rearrange this equation in terms of s5 and substitute s4, which is 98, s3, which is 20, and s2, which is 14, and we'll get 212. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genius got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.